Hey guys, this is Carlton here with my very first video on YouTube and today I'm going to be talking about the stuff that you need to build a good quality quadcopter. So let's get started. Here we go! To build a good quality quadcopter, you'll need a good quality frame. This is the S500 frame that I bought from eBay. This frame came in a whole kit which included brassless motors, ESCs, that is the electronic speed controller, and a KK 2.1.2 flight controller which I didn't use for this build. Specifications of the motors in the ESCs and the propellers are in the description below. There are many more good kits out there which are available, so do check them out. Moving on to the flight controller. This is the DJI NASA m -Lite flight controller bought from AliExpress. It's pretty good for a beginner like me and also provides good quality performance. Moving on to the transmitter. This is the Flysky TH9X 9 channel transmitter which comes with an 8 channel receiver which is pretty odd to me. This transmitter comes with an LCD display and many switches which makes it easy for gain tuning. Then let's begin with the connection. Mount your motors to the arms and connect the ESC. If your ESC has BEC enabled, remove the brown and the red cable from the servo and only leave the yellow wire on. But if you are using Opto ESCs, there is no need to bother about that. We need to connect aileron that is A to channel 1 elevator that is E to channel 2 throttle that is T to channel 3 rudder that is R to channel 4 U that is your gain tuning to channel 6 remember leave channel 5 that is, that is for your landing gear you connect X1 to channel 7 and X2 to channel 8 we connect the X3, we connect the versatile unit from the battery to the X3 or you can say the power source for the NASA. After, connect, after connecting the battery, we need to bind the receiver to the transmitter using the bind cable which comes with the transmitter and the receiver. To do this, we hold down the bind button on the transmitter and wait until the red light on the receiver stops. And then we connect the GPS and the LED unit. After doing all the connections, we connect the versatile unit also known as the LED to your computer. power on the battery later remember never power on the bat the quadcopter first first we need to power on the transmitter so it's here so we power on this first and then we power on the quadcopter Now we turn on the DJI system software. So we hit the start button right over here as you can see. And we move all the sticks all the way around for about 10 seconds or so. And we hit finish. building a quadcopter we check the quadcopter icon over here and then we move on to the to mounting the GPS you can set the value to zero you can set the default for the problem 
Now we move on to the advanced settings. You keep the motor idle speed recommended as shown and tick the cutoff type as intelligent. Now we move on to gimbal. Since I haven't installed any gimbal, I just switch this off over here. Yeah, that's about it. To do the control mode switch settings, we have to move to the menu mode settings. Tick, tick curve. This is the normal mode. Normal ID one and ID two. The normal we set it up to fifty seven. Yeah, it's fifty eight at the last, so we hit it to fifty seven. And it shows altitude mode. ID one, I have set it up to fifty seven since I want both the modes to both the modes in altitude mode. If you want, you can set it up to manual mode by just resetting the values. Either reduce, reducing or increasing it to fail safe or manual, as you wish. So yeah, that's about it. We hit this and it goes back and in front. So I'm setting it to RGB back again. Seven I feel is the number I got. Seven. Yeah. And the position, the last part. So it's ninety-seven, as you can see. GPS. After you're done setting it all up, we just disconnect the USB port. As you can see the LED is blinking which means it's ready to fly. So let's go out and test it. We're here we're gonna test the quad copter, so let's get started.
can see it's quite clear. So that's all for today guys, I hope you like this video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and why not subscribe to my channel for some more awesome videos. Thank you guys for watching, be safe, take care.